Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to this screencast in which we are going to examine the scenario where you take a loan with discount points, but rather than holding on to the loan for its entire term, you decide to prepay the loan. We are going to continue with the same example that we took in the previous screencast where we wanted to borrow a sum of $100,000 and we had two choices. We could either go for a loan without any discount points and pay 12% per annum interest rate. The length of time for which the loan would run was 360 months and everything was the same in the second alternative also the same amount of borrowing and the same length of time available for you to repay the loan but this one came with two discount points where you could pay two thousand dollars up front and in exchange for that you would get a lower interest rate of 11.5 percent as compared to the 12 percent rate in the first alternative we had found out the monthly payment for both these choices and also the effective annual rates for both of them and we had arrived at the conclusion that if we intend to hold this loan for the entire duration and this is important if we intend to hold the loan for the entire duration of 360 months going for the second alternative would be beneficial because it would not only reduce the amount of monthly payment here but also the effective annual rate now let us examine how this scenario can change if we do go for the second alternative that is the alternative with the discount points but rather than holding on to the loan for 360 months we decide to prepay the loan in between let us say at the end of three years or 36 months let us take a stepwise approach and examine this possibility and see what is going to happen for the first 36 months, my friends, nothing unusual is going to happen. You are going to continue to make your monthly payment of $90.2609. But at the end of 36 months, you are going to, going to be interested in finding out what is the outstanding balance of your loan so that you can pay your lender a lump sum amount of money and settle the loan once and for all. In the form of a timeline, this uh, scenario can be represented as follows. This section of the timeline is the initial point in time time period zero this is your amount of loan one hundred thousand dollars that is why we write it as the present value at the end of time period zero if you allow your loan to run for 360 time periods this is what you would end up paying um, but by the time you reach time period 36 that is the end of 36 months you would have paid some of this amount already um, so basically what we are interested in finding out is the amount that you would have paid in the 324 remaining months if you had allowed yourself to go on for the full term of the loan. So therefore what we are going to do is we are going to assume this moment in time as the present moment, this moment of time as the future moment and this intervening period of time as our N. So, so therefore the intervening period of time would be 360 minus 36 that is 324 months. So assuming this point as the present moment in time, this point in time as the future moment in time, let us find out the present value at this point in time that is the present value of 324th period. Let us build in our inputs for the financial calculator. In this section of the timeline my friends you are making a payment of nine hundred and ninety dollars and two six zero nine cents and if you had continued to make this payment of nine hundred and ninety dollars and two six zero nine cents in this section of the timeline also that is for three hundred and twenty four periods then let us write here three hundred and twenty four periods and we already know the interest rate that was um, um, eleven point five percent per annum and that gave us point nine five eight three percent per month what we are interested in finding out is the present value and our calculator will readily give us that answer so if we continued to make the payment of 990.2609 in this section of the timeline that is for 324 more time periods at this interest rate then what would be the present value at this moment that is at the end of the 36th time period the calculator result my friends is 98,633 
0.7282. So this therefore would be the outstanding balance at the end of a 36th time period. Now let us review our position. Um, apart from your regular monthly payments that you have been making for the first 36 months, you will need to pay this amount, this same amount which I have copied from here this amount will have to be paid at the end of a 36th time period. Now let us return back to our original position in the timeline where this is the present moment and therefore if you are standing here at in your timeline and looking ahead into future this point in time that is the end of 36th period would be the future time period. So therefore if there is some amount that you need to pay here that would be a future amount that would appear as a future amount if you are looking from this vantage point. So this same amount is the present amount if you stand here in the timeline but if you stand here in the timeline the same amount is going to appear as a future amount. So we are going to treat it as our future value now and at this point in time you would realize that though you are borrowing the sum of $100,000 you are getting to use only 98,000 of them because you are paying two discount points right in the beginning. So this is how it is represented on the timeline. This is time period zero and looking ahead into future 36 periods ahead. This is the amount that you would have to pay to settle off your loan at the end of the 36th time period. So this is the future value at the end of 36th time period. Now let us go back to our financial calculator and prepare our inputs. So the future value at the end of 36 time periods is going to be this amount here. So let us copy that and paste it at this place where we can then punch in into our calculator. The present value is the amount that we actually get to use $98,000. The payment um, that we have been making or the payment that we have been making for 36 months and we would have continued to make the payment the same amount of payment for the remaining 324 months also is um, minus 990.2609. Now let us see what is the n. We are using 36 periods as our n. So let us write 36 here and we are going to ask our calculator to compute the interest rate for us. And I guess that the interest rate that we are going to get is not going to be this one here that we wrote here 0.9583%. It should be higher than that because you are pre-settling your loan. So since you are going to pay this hefty sum of money at the end of 36th time period and settle off your loan, the interest rate would correspondingly increase and our calculator would verify that by giving us an answer of 1.0254% per month. And this uh, per month interest rate or periodic interest rate we can build into our EAR formula and find out the corresponding effective annual rate. Let us do that quickly 1 plus and let us build in this interest rate now to our into our formula 1.0254 percent can be written as 0 0.01254 and we are going to close the bracket and raise this thing to the power of 12 and then subtract 1 from it to get 0.1302 or 13.02 percent. Now what you realize is that if you do take the discount points and then do not allow yourself sufficient time to avail of the lowered interest rate of 11.5 percent as compared to the 12 percent without any discount points then what you are going to find is that if you prepay within three years or 36 months you are going to be paying this effective annual rate of 13.02 percent and then that would mean that there would be no sense in availing of the second alternative with discount points. You would have been better off without taking any discount points because then your effective annual rate would have been just 12.68 percent. So therefore the lesson of the uh, story or the moral of the story is that you should allow yourself sufficient amount of time you need not hold your loan for its entire duration but then you should give yourself sufficient amount of time I'm repeating again so that it will allow you to recover the uh, payments that you made as discount points at the beginning of the loan and also you could take the full benefit of the lowered interest rate. So therefore our conclusion here is that we should not prepay the loan in the third year as the effective annual rate is higher 
than the 12.68 percent rate uh, which came with the alternative with no discount points as a practice further practice i leave it to you to find out how long should we hold the loan to make the discount points beneficial it need not be the full term of 360 months uh, what you are going to find probably is that somewhere down the line, maybe six years or seven years, if you hold on to the loan that long, this uh, alternative of uh, availing of the discount points will start turning beneficial for you. You can verify that on your financial calculators. For now, it is bye-bye. Thank you very much.